Hello everyone, this is Pinocchio K, and welcome to my Let's Play of the game that people have never heard of ever in the history of ever Lost Kingdoms. Well, I mean, people have heard of it, but you know. Anyway, so, I'm going to be starting a new game of Lost Kingdoms. Um, I had this, I was going to be planning this for um, myself, but I decided to do it for another website. Um, let me look them up real quick, because I've just started to hang with them. They are the uh, limit, the studio limit break. Uh, I'm sorry, studio limit break is who I'm recording for at the moment. Um, I don't have a memory card with me at the moment, so yes, I, I, I know. Without saving, I'm going to do this, and um, yeah. So right now we have to put in our name. Um, the um, the name that they gave us is Katia or Kita. I, I'm just, I call her Katita, Katita, sorry, uh, yeah, Katia, Katia is her name, um, I used to call her Keto when I was, like, a little girl, so, um, we're going to keep it as, um, Katia, my wave bird is being stupid, there we go, just have to switch it off, and then switch it back on, yes, Quarter quality. Okay, here we go. Here's the backstory. The disappearance of a small forest was the first sign of an approaching evil. One morning, villagers awoke to find the solid wall of fog where the forest should have been. Some men, brave th braver than others, ventured into the thick fog. Fog mist. <laughs> they were never heard from again. The next day, the lake disappeared into the swelling mists. It was not long before that an impeccable mist surrounded the village itself and Unpenetrable darkness, blah, blah, there was life, blah, and day turned into night. By ancient covenant, the rules of the five kingdoms were had banned the interaction between their nations. Now five kingdoms abandoned their isolation to look for a solution. Sadly, they could not offer a plan to defeat the fog. Terrifying rumors spread throughout the land. Some whispered of tales of an angel's, angel's evil reawakened. And that is actually... These these loading screens are very different, so this is only one of a few. Starts up with a soldier running into a kingdom. There. Princess Katia, our worst fears have come true. That is Princess Katia, our main protagonist. The black fog is at the gates of the castle. Oh no, what could this mean? Katia, the black fog. Oh, uh, Katia, the black fog must be stopped. We will not be. I didn't read that. <laughs> to leave him alone. Now the king's duty is to his people. You must blah blah. In the castle, if you attack, find the room stone and flee. Guard it with your life, my daughter. Blah blah blah. All right. So now we control Princess Katia. The controls are pretty standard. Use the controls to move around. And we'll get into the other controls soon, from, soon later. You can use the C stick to move the camera around. That's pretty helpful. And use A when you have a, an exclamation mark by you to look at stuff. Um, this is the map of Argwil. The decisions of each of the five kingdoms are laid out in that. Good for that. So now we have to go through this door, so I can I wish the king had not left us to investigate the Black Fog. What will we do without him? I don't know. Long, long ago, the kings of the five kingdoms signed a sacred covenant. The covenant prohibited them from interfering with each other. We've had peace ever since, until then. My screen is doing odd things. Great. This doesn't affect the recording. So now we open this door. A button. Go in here, and here is the treasure that holds one of the main parts of this game, which is that thing, which is our rune stone, which attaches to our hair, and that creates skeletons for some reason. Oh dear! Oh, oh dear! Oh dear! This is bad. What are we gonna do? We have no way to protect ourselves. We're a princess. We let plumbers do that. Guardian of the Sacred Covenant, the powers of the cards flow through you. What? Cards? What? 
What? Is that a bird man thing? What? Alright, so here's our first example of combat in this game. Um, there's a card to press A, B, X, or Y. Uh, the cards available are shown on the lower right. Um, the lower right. Uh, oh, so you can move around. The monster you have to defeat is right there. There are three types of cards, and um, I will show you all three. Actually, I can't remember. Um, I'll show you one weapon. And uh, every time you get a monster, you get back to your souls. So that will punish your, um, your magic and so your dining. I'm just gonna use this one card. Yeah. Killed it! Okay. Monster defeated. We defeated one skeleton. And we get some experience points for our cards. So, pretty cool. We'll explain everything as we need to do. That was our first example of combat, and magically, since we got that runestone, our health has gone up by 50. So, uh, pretty cool. What the? Who's this? Old woman. Did you get the cards? Good. Then let us be off. You're not exactly the most fearsome warrior in the kingdom. I don't suppose you have a burly brother stashed away? Uh, no. So weird. Even the ugliest oyster may contain a beautiful pearl. Hey, you calling us ugly? Although you look like more of a pearl than an oyster. There you go. And serve you right. Who am I, you ask? I am the only person that can teach you how to use those cards you found in the treasury. Oh, okay. You'd better come with me if you want to stay alive. Come now, my cute little guardian of the covenant. Just leave everything to old Gerd. Gerd is your name? Alright. Anyway, we completed the first level with five stars. If you don't get five stars on this level, then you're an idiot. I'm sorry. And then we get a level bonus. For the amount of stars that you have, you're allowed to choose a certain amount of cards that you can use to modify your deck. Um, if you get five stars, you get to pick three. If you get four stars, you get to pick two. Oh, I think if you get three or four stars, you get to pick two, and if you get one or two stars, you get to only pick one. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, or I'll correct myself wrong in the information. So we'll just pick three, these three. Alright! Two Birdman cards and a skeleton card. Usually the cards will, are related to the monsters that you find in, um, in the level. Princess Katia of Elenje. Sorry if I get these wrong, I'm, I'm just reading. Has defeated the monsters that threaten the castle. Her victory provides little relief. Despite all attempts to stem the tide of mists, more areas fall victim to the black fog each day. No one knows where it comes from or why it has appeared. Unless the secrets of the black fog can be unlocked, the entire world will fall into darkness. Darkness. Spiders! <laughs> Interest in the. <laughs> Interest in the defense of the um, castle to her knights. Princess sets forth on a quest to save the world. Only, her only companion in the journey is a mysterious old crone, Gerd. Note, you can only carry 30 cards at a time while on a mission. These cards will be known as your deck. Um, but once you use a card, you cannot use it again. Actually, that is a lie, and we'll get into that later. So you must select your cards in your deck carefully. You can edit your deck with the cards by pressing the start button to the world map. Um, only the cards in your deck can be used on a mission. Customize your deck for each mission to improve your chances of success. Hooray! Alright, so we're gonna go to our deck here. We're gonna edit our deck and we're gonna add the skeleton and the two bird men that we got. Because right now we only had like 12 cards. And that sucks. <laughs> so, we're just going to move right along here. We're gonna make an extra long beginning video because I don't. We're just gonna do the first two. Uh, because I don't want to go too far. You know what I mean? But I just want, I just want to get this up because I want, I wanted to record for so long. I'll, I'll tell you guys more. Okay, so we're gonna go to the plains of uh, Roa. Um, our clear condition. We eat for each level you get, you move clear conditions. What you need to do to defeat the level, please. For this one, we just need to combat, uh, complete combat training. The symbols above it, the fire, the leap, and the earth, are the um. 
the uh, the type of enemies that we're going to be facing. So we're going to be facing some fire ones, some leaf wood ones, and some earth ones. Um, I will explain more about those in a second. Guided by our mysterious old crone, Gerd, the princess has come to the plains of uh, Roal. Her long journey has just begun. And we get a new bonus screen. Actually, the funny thing you could do if you... Oh, I wasn't able to do it. Anyway, you, if you... Yeah, I'll it. So here we are at the plains. Now we're not she, Katia. Was it? You have much to learn, your highness. The guardians of the runestones are given their power to command monsters through the power of... To the cards of power. The cards we got. That power is the only chance we have in defeating the evil boost. Uh, loosed upon the world. Great! We get to use Yu-Gi-Oh cards! You know, we get to play children's card games to save the world. Wow! Whether you like it or not, you must stand up and fight! No, I don't, I want, I don't want to do it! I'm a princess! I let plumbers do my work! Or elves! First, you will have to learn how to control the monsters. I will teach you the way of the cards. This place is full of goblins, and that makes it the perfect place to start your training. Yes, because goblins suck. Are you ready? I don't give fancy lectures. You'll figure it out once you see the goblins coming. Great, and now Gerd is going to be following us. We can just run ahead. She'll, she'll keep up. Now here we have treasure chests. Treasure chests are always going to contain either cards or key items you need. Oh, we got a hobgoblin in this one. Also, explore this place. Uh, explore every area like crazy. You'll find chests everywhere. Some have cards that you can use to um, enhance your deck. I actually know already what kind of uh, card I'm going to be looking for. So, um, you guys can discuss which cards are best in the comments. I already know what I'm going to do. However, I am going to try to um, tell all I can about cards and probably show most to all of them if I can. You will use the power of cards to defeat the monsters. You, the A, yeah, we already Don't be afraid to experiment. I can do one. This is the best way to learn. The Nagrid Princess, here comes your first goblin. Great. Alright, so we have all three different types of cards here, which is good for less, uh, for less. There's our goblin right up there. He's kind of dumb, he's just gonna walk around until we go near himself. So, um, oh, he's noticed us. Alright, so we're going to, so, if you notice up there, it's, you, you know, it goes around that, um, water will douse fire. He's firing, he's farting on us. I can make a fart joke if I wanted to, but I'm not going to because that would just be tasteless. Yeah. So, I'm gonna stop running around like an idiot and actually use a card. So we're gonna use a... In... Independent card. The three types of cards are Weapon, Independent, and Summon. Independent monsters will basically go around on their own and attack the monsters that you want them to attack. They're very useful to be also used as decoys. Um... Weapon monsters like you set on the skeleton. Um... They are, you know, they are used once, but you can use the power to defeat monsters. And then there's the summon one, which we had not used yet. Not bad for a beginner. Come on, your highness. We must continue on. And we keep walking. So, you know, there there is an elemental um, circle up there. Um, fire beats wood. Wood beats earth. Earth beats water. Water beats fire. And then there is one Ooh. other that is the neutral ones. They're the toughest to defeat. In order to use the car, you need power. To get that, you need the magical stones, the things that the monsters drop. You won't be able to collect magical stones when you attack monsters! If you run out of magical stones, you can still use the car, but it will drain your own life force. That is very important! Um, you can also use this to your advantage. If you don't have any magic stones and you are down to 1 HP, you can summon as many cards as you want because it will not kill you. So, um, keep that in mind. Just letting you know. Uh, we'll drink the light force. Magic stones are part of your power. Whenever you see one, take it. 
But it's also very dangerous to use your own life force to do that kind of stuff, so. Oh, now we have two monsters. We have a man trap, the thing that we used before to help us, and this thing. These things are very, very, very deadly, so we're just gonna do this. We sacrificed our man trap, so we were able to get rid of that, um, um, I think they're calling Mandra or something. So anyway, we're gonna use our, um, we can't, I don't want to use our summon card because that, the fairy that we have up on the top will actually heal us. So we're gonna use our Dragon Knight. Dragon Knights are, the Dragon Knight is probably your most important, or your most powerful card that you have at the moment. It turns into a and more powerful later on. We defeated one, one man trap, and our Dragon Knight got 24 experience. We collected, um, Excuse me, don't don't do that. Um, eleven. Not bad for a beginning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we keep walking. I don't know which way. Let's see what the signs is. Watch out for goblins. Okay, we're gonna go this way. Wait, we should probably do this. Uh, during battle, cards are displayed as both attribute and icon type. The type um icon will show the symbol of a sword, dragon, or spell, which d donates. Uh, donates, um, the notes, I'm sorry, I can't read, the card's type, um, the card, the sword icon is a weapon card, those are the ones that you can use, one, like, more than once to, um, uh, defeat monsters. The ones, uh, you can call up the weapon type monsters and they will turn right on top of you and attack whenever, whatever is in front of you. Monster, uh, weapon type monsters disappear immediately. But unlike other monster types, you can you can be called them more than once. Loser Man is a type is a the example of a weapon type card. Those these types are very, very good. You can also use them to dodge damage. When a monster's about to attack you, you can use them to dodge damage. That's something that is very important that we got so beyond. Okay. Uh cards of the Dragon Mark are called are call up summon type monsters. These we have not seen yet, except for that well actually this we have. We saw them once, the um, the Birdman at the very beginning. That was the summon type monster. Uh, summon monsters take your place in combat, which means you can avoid damage again, then use all of their power in one attack, which is their downfall because if you miss, then you basically waste a card. Birdman is the same for Birdman. Um, the cards, the spell mark on to call up independent monster cards. Independent monster cards will continue to fight until their depleted power, man trap, is mixed up. So we're gonna go this way away from the goblins. Don't like the goblins. Oh, oh my. Mm -hmm. I guess we should come the other way. Alright, listen up. Monsters have something called attributes. Okay, this is important. You can just go, go around using cards willing really to expect to survive. You must think about attributes. We'll uh, get into that later. I'm going to explain this one just hopefully. There are five monster attributes. Fire, water, wood, earth, and not neutral. Fire beats water, beats earth, earth beats fire, earth, earth beats water, and water beats fire. Neutral enemy uh, creatures are very rare. They aren't affected by all by attributes at all. Ignore monster attributes at your peril. Don't come crying to me when you're run out of cards. Furthermore, don't type of while we already went through that. Oh, stop yawning. Stop yawning. Ugh. Okay. Now we have two hobgoblins to deal with. Oh, lovely. Get them together and attack them both at once. It's another strategy to use when playing this game. Also, notice that um, in battle, you can destroy scenery, like you destroy that tree. That's very important when you are around scenery that can be destroyed and there's something like a chest behind it. Um, use that to your advantage about the only thing that please ignore me! It's um, 12 30. Back. We're gonna head back for a second and uh, get back to chess. So, um, I I will tell you the truth. I will tell you the honest about truth. I have had no motivation to record anything at all. Record, edit, no. Had no motivation. None. 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 No motivation at all. So I am sorry about the delay in recording. Oh, we already went through that. Um, I'm gonna get back to it though. I have recently gotten motivation again. Stop yelling! Ah! Nah. 
All right, now we're gonna go to this thing. This is a save point. It also completely kills you. If you want to abort the mission, you can go to this, or you can just go to that. These things are very important. You can edit your deck while here. So if you, you once again, we have 12 cards since we used three cards in battle completely. With this one, you can actually add cards to your deck. So, you know, if you get a card that's in a treasure chest, sorry, if that was a weird noise. A weird noise too. Um, you can add it to your deck using these things. These things are very important. Although, when you leave the level, your deck will return back to normal. So if you want that card permanently in your deck, you're going to have to go to the main map and put it in your deck permanently. So, yeah. You did it. Oh my god, I saw that. I guess we should explain what this screen is. This screen um, basically shows your name, Katia, and then we are deck number one. HP is 100, and then this is the percents that we have. Um, our defense is 10, our, our resistance to paralyze is 10%, resistance to charm is 10%, resistance to poison is 10%, resistance to curse is 10%, and resistance to stone is 30%. Paralyze, um, I think, I don't think I've ever gotten the Paralyze status effect. I guess it, like, I guess it slows you down. Yeah, I guess it does. Charm will screw around with your controls, so, like, up is down, left is right, up is sideways, whatever. Poison will decrease, uh, gradually deplete your, um, what's it called? Da -da. Gradually deplete your life, so watch out for that. Curse will make it so that you can't use cards sometimes. Some specific cards, like you can use some cards, but not all of them. And then stone is you completely can't move and you can't do anything. But you can still take damage. So stone is the worst. Um, they um, can only be affected in battle, so when you're basically running around the level, you're fine. Um, I think except for poison, but I don't, um, don't quote me on that. Okay, here we go. If you don't oh, have yeah. the right cards in your hand, you can throw cards away. Press press A, B, X, or Y while pressing down the um, R button to double card. Use this ability with care. A card thrown away. My battle can't be used to get the same battle. Um, it's basically that card. It's not the uh, if you have like let's say if you throw away a man trap, you'll still have the other man traps in your in your deck. But um, it will come back in the next battle. Alright, so you see we got our hobgoblin right there. Uh, we have a hobgoblin up there. And we're going to throw ourselves down. Another cool trick, if you hold, if you have an independent card and you throw it, and you throw it down and you hold it down the button, it will, um, it will, uh, float there for a time. You can direct where it goes. Probably put those over oh, there. Skeleton is actually a very underrated card. Um, So actually, skeleton is a very underrated card. Um, it can it can evolve to something like that. Kill it, man trap! Oh no, man trap's from poison. So um, um, skeleton is a very underrated card. If you properly. Well, well, I didn't think you had it in you. There's more to you than that meets the eye, princess. Well, excuse me. I'm not making that to ever again. I'm gonna go up here. Um. Well, nothing seems to be up here. Excuse me. I did not know I have a nose like that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's late. I just wanted to record something. After this point, you will find the boss of the goblins. Remember what I have taught you! Now go, teach him what the princess of Ellinger can do! Ellinger. Uh. Alright, so up here is the boss. But, um. Ah, uh, you know what? Screw it. Just go. Cutscene. I'm not going to. Let's 
use us. And oh, it's off. What is that? Oh, jeez. What is okay? This is the sand bowl. Sand bowl has a hundred HP and is a um, earth attribute, so you want to use wood against it. It's basically, man traps are the best type. Um. Oh my god. Also, if you- it can also attack, um, attack itself and the, the hobgoblin's poison can actually affect it, so that's something that's good to know. Oh my, there are three hobgoblins and then also great dark raven. Um, try to pull them all together. Ow! You got hit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Seven damage and then the card around us. We're a princess. Oh god. We're a princess. We can't take this. Took down two of the hobgoblins. We got to them all down at once. I think we just did. He's a lizard man. Oh, ow! We didn't do damage. Oh my god. Okay, so now we're going to show you what a summoning monster can do. Completely leave the screen and the monster take the place. Did, I think it's a good game, which is pretty good for us. They use a- they take- they normally use a lot of different crystals, a lot more magic stones. So just remember that. So we're gonna use our mantra, which is a wood attribute, and it just did the job for us. Remember, um, that, uh, wood be earth, so if you use hardwood, fur, man, earth, and mantra, then, um, it's a lot better. So we killed three hot goblins with our dark raven. And the man trap killed the uh sandal one. And killed that. Also, only if the monster that defeats the enemy gets the experience, so the other monster is basically gets food over. We get the five stars. Alright. If I got something less than five stars, then I'd be screwed. And I'd be so let's see what card we okay, I'm gonna pick this one, this one, and Alright! We got one of each monster. Uh, we got the Mandrag- uh, Gora. Gora. I'm actually gonna be using this because I really like this card. The Sand Golem, which was the boss of this area. I'm gonna be using that. And a Hot Goblin. To hold you there. Now we have the, um, Apoth- Apothecary. Apothecary. Where are deck for a second? We're gonna add in this, and in this, and in this. Okay. Okay, let's go in. Uh, this peculiar this peculiar establishment is run by Kurt Gerd. Um, here the princess can buy and sell cards while acquiring by them. Yes, the control stick, um, you can move around the, the floating. Okay. Well, well, you've made it this far. It seems you've learned at least of the basics of card handling. I am called Gerd, and this is my shop. You have seen the block for your masters, well, within it, masters. All of our will will fall unless the fog is stopped. Only a runestone there can help to defeat it, meaning us, of course. Which means, my dear, that it is up to you! I wish it was your father I was telling this to. Oh, thanks! Appreciate it, y'all. <laughs> um, but come. I'll wager there's more to a pr than pretty dresses and fancy jewelry. Thanks. King Theoban. Theoban. King Theoban, Theoban, whatever. Is on his way to meet with King, um, Zelman. I believe the goal is to work out a shared strategy. Thanks. Your father does not have a runestone, and that means he cannot defeat the enemy. The enemy he faces now. Well, that's great. We gotta go save him. If you are going to catch up with your father, you must start your search in Blasoon. Blasoon, alright. I'll be here, tending to the shop. Not by any time. I've got all the cards you could want. Thanks. Alright, so let's talk about, um, Gerd's shop for a second. First we have Talk to Gerd. Mm -hmm. 
This basically you can talk to her and she will give you information. You can also get bonus levels from her um, as you progress through the game. You can buy cards and she has plenty of different cards to sell. Um, let's see, she's got Hobgoblins, Dark Raven, um, Mantrap, Flying Ray, which we have not gotten into. Flying Rays are um, a sword type and they have a diving attack. I don't use these cards, but um, I guess they can be okay. I have never used Flying Ray. Um, they also have different bios and different, and this is their monsters when they are actually like in the field, you know, as enemies. And this is what they are of their monster profile. Um, if you want me to read some of these monster profiles, I will. Just put it in the, in the comments. Like, I want you to read the profile for Lizardman. Or, this Birdman thing is interesting. Please read its profile on how to use the card. Stick like that. So, what we're going to do, we only have to go to start. Yeah, if we're a princess and we're very rich. So, we're going to buy one Red Lizard card. We can sell any cards that we don't want. Right now, we're not going to bother selling them. Transforming cards. Okay. Remember those experience points you got? This is what you do. If you if um, a card is colored, then that means it can transform into something good or something just plain different. And there are, cert there are different transformations for each one. We're just going to go to Lizard Man. Lizard Man has three different transformations. One costs 1,000 XP. Um, one costs 3,000. One costs 6,000. The more speed that it is to transform a card, the more powerful that card is. <coughs> That's something to keep in mind. Excuse me, I'm going to take a drink of water because I'm thirsty. Ah. I should have done that 30 minutes ago. Hmm. Okay. This is the little, And, um, you know, there are also, um, sometimes they have limited transformations, but who knows. You can also copy cards, basically, and it costs much less experience to copy a card than to transform a card. And then there's exit shop, so we're going to exit the shop. And this concludes part one of, um, Let's Play uh, Lost Kingdoms. I am Kanaka K, and I am back.